Hi, I'm Greg Hurd. I'm uh, the physics and astronomy teacher here at uh, Webster Groves High School. Two components to our training at the high school. One was an educational component uh, where we were uh, discussing what was happening uh, and really reviewing with the high school students about the um, motions and uh, what was taking place with our sun, moon, and earth positioning. And then the second component was uh, a safety component where we were discussing uh, ways to keep your eyes safe. There's going to be a lot of other stuff going on that we can observe and using the pinhole viewer is going to be one of those things that we can do. Now, I don't want to just lecture to you about this, okay? You can see the shadow from that front wall if you needed to could become the moon and you've got the eclipse going across the ground. When the moon is full, it's 180 degrees around the sky from the sun. Crescent! Nicely done! Hey, ladies and gentlemen, please come. We were modeling the phases of the moon for the students and Mr. Dublin got to be the moon yeah. <laughs> and uh, that gave the whole fourth grade we had together just to give them an idea of what was going on with the position of the sun the position of the earth they were the earth and the position of the moon and how the different phases are formed because of the light reflecting off the moon do you see a little brightness from the moon our ultimate goal for this experience was to give the kids a better understanding of the solar eclipse um, through um, model representations as well as uh, kinesthetic um, learning as well. The, the importance of the glasses was the safety component. We wanted to make sure that all faculty and staff here at, the, at Webster Groves uh, School District were safe in observing the solar eclipse. Um, these are ISO certified by a science organization uh, to make sure that they had the proper filter uh, that was uh, going to protect the inner side portion of the eye called the retina, which uh, is susceptible to um, some damage if viewing the uh, solar eclipse without, without the protection on. During the uh, eclipse, we were able to see at totality the atmosphere of the, of the sun. And uh, you can only see this during a total solar eclipse because the moon happens to be uh, covering the, the surface of the sun and the atmosphere is then visible. And so the corona is just the hot gaseous outer envelope that covers the sun. Uh, and sort, sort of as the moon moved across the, the, the face of the sun, uh, the corona became, a vi became visible and we were able to see some of the really cool features of the corona uh, as well as uh, the diamond ring effect which occurs after the uh, totality has ended and the moon begins to move out of the uh, uh, surface of, from the surface of the sun. This is my solar eclipse project. Um, it has a poem right here. And this is the model of the solar eclipse. And so here's the sun. And it has a black background to just represent outer space because, you know, it wouldn't be cardboard. And here's the moon hanging. And then the earth. And then the point for this is that if you get it, if you put it up like this, um, and then lean down on the level of the earth, you can see it looks like, um, just like the solar eclipse, the moon's there with the sun's edges and the gas spewing out um, on, the, on the sides of it. The poem's called The Solar Eclipse, and this is how it goes. August 21st, the eclipse is coming soon. Dark moon and bright sun, and then my name.